The Nigerian Labour Congress and the Trade Union Congress of Nigeria on Monday stormed the headquarters of the Nigeria Electricity Regulatory Commission in Abuja, protesting the recent increase in electricity tariff. Now, the action followed a May 10 memo from the unions directing their state branches to carry out the exercise after the federal government failed to revert the hike in electricity tariff as demanded by the organized labor. Noel Samson has more. The NLC chairman, Joe Ajero, who led the protest, told newsmen that the rising cost of living due to the removal of fuel subsidy necessitated the action. According to Ajero, life is already hard for Nigerians, whom he noted do not need any additional hardship in the guise of electricity tariff increase. Nigeria cannot develop with 4,000 megawatts. No way. You cannot develop industrially with 4,000 megawatts. Some countries of the world, uh, America and uh, China and others, are talking of over 1 million megawatts of electricity. Mm. And we can't be talking of 4,000 megawatts. So NEC should seek the right thing to be done, not tariff. In a country where the inflation is biting hard, even the foreign currency is getting down, NEC can't pretend to know that things are difficult. You cannot throw Nigerian economy with taxation. You cannot grow Nigerian economy with taxation. Even today, the governors are sitting in the comfort zone of their own without thinking how to generate internal revenue. But they will come to federal capital territory and pack the money to pay wages becomes a problem. The chairman, Nigeria Electricity Regulatory Commission, NEC, Sanusi Garba, who addressed the protesters, called for understanding saying the increase in tariff was necessitated by the rise in the operational costs. He, however, assured the protesting workers that the commission would return to the drawing board to see what can be done to mitigate any adverse impact on Nigerians. We have taken input from what you have said relating to affordability of the tariffs that have been issued by the commission. Uh, we have listened to you, we have listened to the concern of Nigerians and we'll make adequate case and representation to the policy side on the issue of affordability of tariffs. Nigerians are praying for a positive outcome after the picketing exercise. No, Samson, Trust TV News, Abuja.